I want to welcome everybody to Roby Tech. Roby Tech is a show dedicated to PC building, tech news, tech deals, and of course, just bonker streams, guys. We have a lot of fun. What is happening today? I think that's what everybody wants to know. Roby, what are you doing today? I'll be honest, this is a build that I have been excited and apprehensive about for a while. Um, this one took a long time to get all the parts because it is using dual Asus ROG Strix 3090s. It is a $10,000 PC. It's a Threadripper build, it's in a big case, it's a beastly, beastly machine. A lot to plug in, a lot to get set up, and hopefully everything's worked out well. And Black, Black Death, <laughs> that's such a happy name. Marcel, why did you do that? Black Death 44, that, remember that's who this PC is for. And let's start talking about parts. So at the core of this is the AMD Ryzen Threadripper uh, 3970X. This is a 32 core, 64 thread CPU for the motherboard. And this is the ROG Zenith 2 Extreme. It's a dream motherboard, absolutely beast. We're gonna be using this uh, in the build today. We'll do a tour of it uh, here in a bit. It's got all the bells and whistles, given it's almost a $900 MOBO. For GPUs, and how often is this? Guys, I wanna show you, and this is half of the entire stock of 3090s on the planet right here. Dual Asus ROG Strix 3090OCs. Uh, the advantage of two, you know, it's interesting. There isn't much. He wanted two we're putting into, um, and uh, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be awesome. So uh, he's been waiting for a while because just getting the parts has been so hard. RAM, because you know what, why not? We're, we're already overkill everything else in here. So we have 128 gigs of 3200 megahertz G-Skill Trident Royal Z. For storage, uh, we've got eight terabytes of storage here. Uh, we've got four terabyte Western Digital Blue that's just basically for other, and then two, uh, essentially four terabytes of um, NVMe storage from Western Digital. These are SN550s, these are 3400s. Why not use a cooler that still costs more than a motherboard? And I love this cooler in general, right? But that's a Kraken Z73 um, from NZXT. Speaking of other awesome, which actually is what's making me less intimidated about this build, is this right here. And that is because we are gonna use what everybody uses, and those are the Lee and Lee uh, Uni 120 SL120 fans. One thing that's gonna make it easy is how easy these are to connect. We'll be able to use all three of these with a single Lee and Lee box. Uh, so it's actually only three cables versus like if I use Corsair QL fans, it's actually nine. So uh, it makes it a little bit easier there. So there is our fans. The last part of this, is all the cables extension. We are using two Lee and Lee Strimmer uh, kits and then a pair of uh, the um, the Asia Horse uh, white ones to fill in that third spot for all of it. So it's gonna have a lot of RGB as well. So we're gonna have mad RGB uh, plus mad power plus everything else. So there is our there is our cable extensions. And then finally for power, because you need a big power supply, why not 1200 watts Platinum, so making sure it's super efficient, right? Because we want to going from there because we're using two GPUs. Not that it'll be in, but it's 1200 watts. Uh, this is a Silverstorm Platinum, uh, basically PSU. Um, should be absolutely fine. We got to start with the dad joke and then we will be begin the build process. I named my dog Tax. Every time I open the door, in come Tax. <laughs> I was going to learn how to juggle, but I didn't have the balls. <laughs> that one's good. Let's start with our motherboard. Oh my gosh. What I like to do is I like to point you guys th uh, things out in the motherboard just so you guys have an idea when I talk about connecting things that you just have a good idea in terms of what I'm actually doing. Um, up here, this is like, this is our VRM solution. This is an OLED screen. This OLED will actually show you information about uh, what's happening with the motherboard, temperatures, all that other stuff. Um, right here in the middle, this is actually a Threadripper uh, socket. So you guys are used to seeing AM4 or LGA115X or LGA1200 if you're doing a Z490. This is actually a Threadripper socket right here. Very very, very big, very massive. Uh, this right here is called a DIMM.2 slot. This is actually allows you to have direct access for um, uh, storage, NVMe storage, onto and writing to the chip. It's actually just as fast as plugging it into a typical M.2 and a little bit easier to install. So this is actually where we're gonna install our M.2s. These are our EPS power connectors over here. This is our 24 pin ATX power supply. Underneath this is actually our M.2s, um, which we won't open up, but if we wanted to, we could. Uh, we've got a fan header. This is our front panel. You have uh, uh, switches for doing uh, CMOS, uh, another USB 3.2. These are USB 2 fan headers, RGB headers. You've got your HD audio as well. We have two by 16 
uh, PCI slots for our SLI. That's our motherboard. Um, there's a lot. Now, let's show you guys how to install a Threadripper CPU. Okay, so there we go. So this is the CPU right here. The bracket for uh, what you need to put the AIO on is actually included with the CPU. The other thing that you also need that's also included is the torque wrench. This is actually for opening and installing the uh, CPU as well. And then you've also got your official uh, certificate of authenticity that you can't uh, copy. And then you've got a Threadripper sticker. So we're gonna throw that in there. It just pops off like that. And then there's a little clip right here. And then this just slides out just like this. And there you go, there's your, your Threadripper CPU ready to go. Massive, massive CPU. So we're gonna stick this down like that and put this all back together. Now on the Threadripper CPU, it actually has instructions. So it says open, close. So open, we start with three, which is labeled. So we, we're gonna undo three. And then you do two. And the last one you need is one. And then it just pops off just like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these little clips right here, pop them up. There's a little plastic uh, uh, sled in here you're gonna remove. And you're also gonna remove this down here, which is actually what has all the pins on it. There you go, got that off. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, you're gonna slip it down like so, pop it down like this, there you go, and then you're gonna pop this down like that. And then, see how it says close, we're gonna do one. What I do is I have a tendency to start them just to make sure they all go in. There we go, start three. And then, you basically twist this until it pops. And that's how you know it's in. There's two. And finally, three. Okay, so now CPU's installed and we're good to go there. Okay, next up, RAM, because why not? There it is, G-Skill Trident Royal Z, eight DIMMs. So we're gonna pop all these up. There's a little slot on the PCB right there. You're gonna line it up with the little slot in the RAM. I'm just gonna pop it in just like that. Yeah, that stuff is sharp, yo. But there it is, 128 gigs of 3200 megahertz, 16 CL RAM installed. Let's start our M.2 installation now to make the build look full. We're gonna go ahead and install our M.2s onto this dim.2 right here. Okay, so here we go. Now we're gonna grab our two terabytes here. And there's a little slot in the PCB right here. We're just gonna pop that little slot in just like so. Oh, let's not try to touch the bottom there. I didn't mean to do that. Still not a big deal, but try not to. Okay, pop that down just like this. Screw that down. You wanna make sure that you're using the smaller standoff so that way this isn't uh, like leaning up. So we're gonna screw these on. Now we're gonna install our DIM.2 here. We go right here and that'll install our two M.2 drives. There we go. Okay, motherboard. The motherboard is pretty much prepped. Everything is in the motherboard that I care about. We have 128 gigs of RAM. We've got our Threadripper in. We've got all of our, we've got our, our NVMe storage in. Uh, now the next thing is case prep and uh, getting this into the, uh, into the crazy case that we're gonna work on. Oh, it's so big, but it's gonna fill up the whole case. There we go. It's like right up to the edge right there. Look at that. <laughs> it's such a big case, such a big case. Okay, let's grab our stuff. So, there we go, that is all in. Now, let's get our fans installed. The way these work is there's little clips 
and they just basically clip together like so. Pretty straightforward, actually. Just gotta find a little, little clip thing. Then we just push them together just like this. There you go, there's one. Same thing with these, just flip it over, find the slot, and there you go. Fans are basically, that's it, fans are ready. They're connected together. And then we just take one of these, and it goes on the top, right here, and it just goes like this. And there you go. Now you have a whole fan cluster built and ready to go, like in that much time. That's all there is to it. There you go, nine fans, ready to go. <sighs> Down here at the bottom, we've actually got a fan, like a, just a bracket. Okay, first set is done. Let's get our three, our fans in the case. Urgh. Okay, fans are all in. Now let's prep our AIO and get that ready. Ugh. Now, let's get this mounted inside the case. AIO is installed, everything's on the other side. But let's run all our strimmers, let's get our strimmers in and everything else. Let's go ahead and try and start mounting our 3090s. There you go, guys. Full, ready to go, 3090. Grab our first two slots. There's one. And now we do it all again with a second 3090. Here we go. <laughs> oh man, this build, so funny. Nope, there it is. There it is, dual 3090s. <laughs> we're gonna put in our, our, we're gonna get our strimmers in and then figure out how strimmers are gonna run. Okay, now this mess. Let's go ahead and hook up our Western Digital Drive and then uh, we'll have this all done and then we can, we, can, we, can, we can cable manage this. There it is. Okay. So let's grab our four terabyte Western Digital Blue Drive. There we go. Okay, now that's in. Let's go ahead and put our power supply in. Everybody say PSU time. It is almost time to turn this bad boy on. Okay, so I need six VGA. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, there is six. So there's all of our VGA. CPU number one, CPU number two. These are our accessories, there's one. And then finally, number two, our motherboard. Okay, there's all our cables plugged in. There we go. Okay, now we can just tighten this. Okay, there you go, build is in. $10,000 worth of hardware, dual 3090s, 1200 watts of power, nine fans, Threadripper build. 
It is, geez. Okay, here we go. Hopefully my power grid can handle it. Okay, I see power. Oh my gosh. And it's on. It's what it's like 100% done first time and works. Holy cow. That is crazy. Crazy. And it looks awesome.